Timothy Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS, or cassette or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number of the message, and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. I do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m., you can get our telecast by going to our website. Our website is 24 hours worldwide. All right, now into the Word of God. I've got a part two on the devil's prison. Amen. Maybe some of y'all this morning don't understand what you're going through. Amen. Amen. And don't know what this is. Yes. Prophet, I'm living holy. Huh? I'm saved. I, I, I'm living for God, but I don't understand why, why I'm going from one trial to another. I don't understand what's going on in my life. It could be you might be in the devil's prison. Not because you did anything wrong, but because your faith needs to be tested and tried. The devil wants to test your faith to be tried. But Jesus said, he, he said, be faithful even while you're in the devil's prison. That means stay committed. Don't change. Don't give up. Revelation 2.10. Fear not a little thing which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried or may be tested. And ye shall have tribulation ten days with me in a certain length of time. But be thy faith unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Our lesson this morning will be on the devil's prison part two. Amen. Amen. The devil's prison part two. Now, Jesus stated here plainly that some of us, because these are Christians that he told John to write to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, if the, and, if, and if these Christians went into the devil's prison, I'm a Christian too. That means I can go into the devil's prison. Because I got Christ in my life like this church had Christ in their life. The same message went for them, went for me too. Jesus told them that be faithful unto the devil. He's telling me, you too, that say to be faithful unto the devil. And I would give you a crown of life. See, let me explain something to you, honey. When you go into the devil's prison, you may not understand what's going on in your life. You may not understand what's happening to you. Uh, but regardless of him, when you go into the devil's prison, his spiritual prison, you got to stay strong while you're in prison. Yes, see what I'm talking about? While you are in the devil's prison, you got to stay uplifted. Yeah. This is why you got to stay in prayer. This is why you got to stay in, in meditation of the word of God. So you can stay uplifted while you are in the devil's prison. That's why the Bible said, be not weary in well doing. You'll reap if you faint not. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. This is why. While you are in the devil's prison, you can't get weary. Weariness will weaken you. Weariness will cause you to get discouraged. Weariness can beat you down. But if you stay uplifted, baby, you, you can stay strong. 
You see what I'm talking about? Not only that, but wow. You are in the devil's prison. You got to be patient and wait on God. He said 10 days, baby. You see what I'm talking about? That means you got to wait on God, baby. There are some things we go through in life. We just got to wait on God to get us out. You see what I'm talking about? The Bible said they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. You see what I'm talking about? Some things you just got to wait on God. Do you see what I'm talking about? Hey Amen. You need patience to wait on God. Do you see what I'm talking about? While you're in the devil's prison, don't lose hope in God. That's what the devil wants you to do. To get disencouraged and lose hope in God. Don't you know God is your strength? Don't you know God is your shield? Don't you know God is your protection? Don't you know God is all you have in prison? Do you see what I'm talking about? When you in the devil's prison, your family not in there with you. Your children not in there with you. Nobody in there with you but God. When the Hebrew boys went in the devil's prison, where were his, where were his brothers and sisters? When the Hebrew boys went into the devil's prison, did his family go in there with him? No. Who was in there? The Bible said it looked like a fourth one, and it looked like the Son of God. You see what I'm talking about? When Peter went into the devil's prison did his brothers and sisters go in there with him amen what was on each side of Peter's hand it was angel not his family you see what I'm talking about when you go into the devil's prison God bees in there with you do you see what I'm talking about? This is why when you're in the devil's prison, you got to be spiritual minded and see the Lord. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. While Peter was in the devil's prison, he saw angels. All right, you going through your trials and tribulation this morning. Who do you see? You going through sickness in your body. Who does you see? You're going through hardship. Who does you see, baby? <laughs> Prophet, I'm, Prophet, I'm going through. I'm getting so disencouraged. That because you're not seeing God. You see what I'm talking about? That's because you doesn't see God, baby. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? While you're in the devil's prison, uh, don't lose your faith. No. No. That's why the Bible said, be faith on the death and I would give you a crown of life. Yeah. Many Christian goes into the devil's prison and they lose hope in God, baby. Guess what? Some of them, baby, never come out because they give up. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? They went in the devil's prison, but they didn't stay focused on God. You got many Christians, baby. They goes into the devil's spiritual prison and end up backsliding on God because they don't see God. They wasn't in prayer. They didn't stay focused on God. They didn't study their Bible. They didn't pray. Look, when you in the devil's spiritual prison, you got to encourage yourself, baby. I don't depend on no man to encourage me. I got enough faith in me to encourage myself. I got enough word of God in me to encourage myself, baby. Folks, do may not understand what I'm going through. Prophet, you, you need prayer warriors to pray you through. How in the hell I need prayer warriors to pray me through? They can pray to keep their marriage together. You see what I'm talking about? Now, no 
don't get me wrong, I appreciate all prayers. But if the prayer is not working for you, prayer warrior, it, how can your prayer work for me? If you don't have enough juice in your own flesh like the sand in your house, how's you gonna bring your flesh like to my house talk about help you see? Can't do it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm talking about? That's why we're in the devil's prison. Amen. You got to stay encouraged. You got to stay strong in the Lord to keep fighting back while you is in prison. When you go to prison, you're going to have to fight to keep them devils off your back. Because a lot of them devils in the devil's prison, baby, will try to rape your man. A lot of them devils, a lot of them spirits in the devil's spiritual prison will try to rape your spirit, baby. You got to keep fighting them spirits back with the word of God to keep your man from getting raped by the devil. Do you see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you, baby. You that are saved that's in the devil's spiritual prison, you got to understand this is not man's prison you in. This is the devil's spiritual prison you are in. Do you see what I'm talking about? You got to use spiritual force. That's right. You see what I'm talking about? You got to take the sword of the spear. You got to take faith, baby. Hey, man, you got to pray always, baby. You see what I'm talking about? You got to put on the whole army of God. You see what I'm talking about? When the Bible said that in the book of Ephesians, to put on the whole army of God, who you think he was talking about? Those Christians that went into the devil spiritual prison. Them that was fighting spiritual forces in high places. Them that was under spiritual attack against the devil, baby. Them that the devil was trying to make give up and lose hope in God. That's why Paul told that them Christians to put on the whole army of God. That you'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And when you've done all to stand, stand anyhow. That means come out victorious, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? Many of you all, many of you all, you in the devil's spiritual prison this morning. But I'm telling you now, you're not in prison alone. God is with you. God said, I would never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you always and even until the end of the world. If God is with us even till the end of the world, you know he's with us in spiritual prison. You see what I'm talking about? But this is what you got to do, baby. You got to be patient while you're in prison. You got to be faithful like the Bible told you. And you got to stay strong until God gets you out of there. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. You know that God going to bring you out sooner or later. Because God said in his word, you should have tribulation 10 days. That means a certain length of time and you coming out. This is why I told the devil, devil, when I come out, I'm coming out of spirit gold. I told the devil while I'm in prison, I'm not going down. I'm not going to give up my salvation while I'm in prison. I'm not going to lose God while I'm in prison. I'm not going to lose hope in God while I'm in prison. I'm not going to lose faith in prison, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm not going to lose it in prison. If anything, I'm going to take this prison as a living experience and fight it for future trials. You see what I'm talking about? All right, come here, honey. Get me our lesson tonight. I got so much I want to read, but time may not allow. Get me Revelation 2.10. That's our lesson we're going to take it from. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Revelation 2, 10, read for me, honey. Fear none of those things what thou shalt suffer. Hold it, baby. Fear none of those things what thou shalt suffer. Uh -huh. I don't fear none of the devil put on me. No. I don't fear nothing the devil bring in my life, baby. No. I'm above that, baby. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? I don't fear it, baby. I don't fear it. I fight it. Yeah. I don't fear it. I overcome it, baby. Yeah. I don't fear it. I will stand up against it, baby. I don't fear the devil, he fear me. He fear the God that's in me, baby. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. The devil shall cast some of you all into prison. Uh -huh. God let the church know, know that some of y'all would have to go to the devil's prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was one of them that went there. Yeah. I went there a couple of times and I came out, baby, victorious, baby. I came out blessed by God, baby. I came out prosperous, blessed by God, baby. I came out strong in the Lord, baby. You see what I'm talking about? I've been there. I've been there. The devil put me in the dungeon. Yes, yes. But I stayed faithful, baby. I served at my time. I served at my time, baby. And when I served at my time, God said, well done. By good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over few things. I make you ruler over many. That's why I'm preaching on your TV. You see what I'm talking about? I make you rule over many, amen. In other words, I put you over to preach my gospel. You see what I'm talking about? I put you to preach to my people because you prove yourself faithful. Do you see what I'm talking about? You need to be under strong leaders, baby. You need a strong pastor in your life, baby. You need to be under strong teaching, baby. You need to be under strong leaders, baby. You're around too many of these weak pastors. You're around too many of these weak folks. You're around too many of these folks, baby. That's too weak for you. Go ahead, no. Go ahead, teacher. You need to be around strength, baby. You need to be around somebody that went to prison and overcame and came out. You see what I'm talking about? All right, read for me, honey. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. Hold it. Jesus let them know why they're going to prison. Uh -huh. That they'll be tried. Yes. That they'll be tested. Oh, yeah. That their faith will be tested. All right. That their minds will be tested. Yes, Lord God. That the word of God will be tested in them. Oh, the devil had tested me with the word of God while I was in prison. You know what he told me? The scripture you quoting to me is not working. I told the devil, I tell you what, I don't believe nothing you say. You're a lie in the father. Did it work? Did it work? Look how strong I am, baby. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hey, look at you That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look how strong I am. You're going to ask me, did it work? Look how strong, look how uplifted I am. Look how the Lord done blessed me, baby. Look how the Lord done, done used me, baby. You're going to ask me to do the word of God work. I'll let you figure it out. Yes, it does. All right. It works. Read. Fear none of those things but thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. And you shall have tribulation ten days. Be Look, I don't know how long I was in the devil's prison. Was it ten days, eight days, nine days? Okay. Amen. I don't know how many days, baby. I don't care. Okay. Amen. I came out. That's all I care. And I came out strong, baby. I came out victorious, baby. That's what's count. All right, that means a lot. When you in prison, you don't count days. You just be patient. And Jesus said, what? I give you a crown of life. He'll bless you. He'll trust you with his spiritual good. You see what I'm talking about? Not only he giving me a crown of life, look, look what else he done gave me. Let's go to Acts, uh, let's go to Acts 5 and 17. 
All right, I want you to read that for me, honey. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that was with him, which is in the set of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation. They got jealous of Peter. All right. Devil get jealous when he can't bind you, baby. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. The devil get jealous, baby, when you are prospering in God, baby. All right, say that. Mm -hmm. He get jealous yes, and will try to bind you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Just, you see what I'm talking about? Before the devil bind me, I got to let him do it. You know what, too? Yeah. You know what? If I don't let him, he can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, he can't do it. All right, read for me, honey. Then the high priest rose up, and all they that was with him, uh -huh. which is in the sect of the Sadducees, and was filled with indignation, uh -huh. and laid their hands on the apostle and put them in the common prison. Uh huh. Hold it. Put the apostles in prison. Yeah. Uh -huh. See what the devil did? Yeah. Put them in man's prison. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. All right, read for me, honey. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison door. Hold it. How did the, 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 wait a minute, the angels, how did the angels get in there? Right. God don't need no permission from no, man. He no, he don't teach you. Not Matter anything. of fact, all of them, God put all of them to sleep. Yeah. 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 You see what I'm talking about? He put all of them to fast asleep, baby. Uh -huh. yeah. It said the angels came in, not his mama, no. not his dad, not his brothers and sisters, uh -huh. the Lord. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Amen. If I'm in the devil prison, baby, I'm going to make sure God is in there. You know what, too? You see what I'm talking about? Because yeah. God is in there with me, baby. Hey, I know can't no harm come to me. Come I know I'm coming out of this. See, this is what I'm telling you all, baby. God going to protect his kind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look what God did for his kind. He sent an angel for his kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, God, you're right about it. Read for me, honey. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Hold it! But the angel of the Lord came by night uh -huh. and opened up the prison doors himself. Yes, yes. He didn't get no order from the judge. Oh, no. He didn't get no pass. And he, he didn't have to get searched. All right, now. That shows you how much power God got over man. Hey. That's it. That all power, yeah. Read for me, honey. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Well, hold it. God didn't get the bailers to open the doors. No, no. He opened the doors and said, he did. He did. Yes, he did, teacher. You see what I'm talking about? What I want you to see is this. Peter, the apostle, went to jail. Who got him out? God. God yes, he did. When we goes into the devil's prison, spiritual prison, who get us out? It's God. Yes, this is why Job said, I will wait till my chains come because he knew that God was going to come to his rescue sooner or later. Hold it, baby. You should know that. You should know that this morning that whatever you are going through, you should know that God going to come to your rescue sooner or later. You should know that. Why we should know that? That's the way we've been taught. We've been taught helping God. You see what I'm talking about? Baby, I saw what God did. Amen. Probably you saw it. Yes. Probably you saw it with your natural eyes. Yeah. Probably you mean to tell me you saw the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace with your natural eyes. Yeah. I read the Bible with my natural eyes, didn't I? You see that? <laughs> Hold it, baby. Let me explain something to you, honey. My faith in me. That, that's how my faith is. If I read it in the Bible with my natural eyes, then I saw it with my natural eyes. Let me break that down to you. When you read something, you focus it in your mind and you see it in the spirit. You see it in your mind. I saw it. I saw it. 
when I read the Hebrew boys went in the fiery furnace, I saw them in there. You see what I'm talking about? That's what faith is. Faith is you seeing it, baby. You see what I'm talking about? I saw it because I read it with my natural eyes. You see what I'm talking about? Wait a minute, baby. I didn't read it with my spirit. I read it in the spirit, but I wasn't dead while I was reading the Bible. All right. Baby, I, I read it with my natural eyes, and I focus it in. Yeah. With my natural eye, that's how I saw it. The way I saw it, that's, that's the, way, the way I believe it. All right, God bless you. God bless you, you see what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 105. 01 South Avenue Jane in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to check our website, all of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes. You can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. Also, our Sunday telecast, you can get it live also by going to our website every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Until next week, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.